Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Bloops TV here and welcome to another video. Now, this is a bit of a different video and I was thinking and I was thinking how much of a pain in the ass it was to set up my PS4 for live streaming and to hook it all up through a HDMI splitter and blah 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 blah. So in this tutorial, this is how to set up the Elgato HD60 Pro. Okay, so before we get started, this is how to set up the Elgato HD60 Pro with the HDMI splitter. Now, you can do it without the HDMI splitter, but there was a reason why I didn't and I can't remember why it was a long time ago, but I do prefer the HDMI splitter over the inbuilt one onto the card. Alright, so now that's all out of the way, it's time to get right into the video. So the first thing we need is two HDMI HDMI cables, a HDMI splitter, and a PS4. Alright guys, so this is the HDMI splitter that I have, there's nothing in as you can see, we're going to start from scratch. So the HDMI cable out of your PS4 is going straight into the HDMI input on the front of the HDMI splitter. Alright, so the simple part is over, time to go over to the HDMI output 1 and output 2. So now what I want you guys to do is go behind your monitor and plug a HDMI cable into HDMI 2 or 1. It doesn't really matter at this point, it just depends on which one you want to choose for your game to be on. To keep it simple, just use HDMI 1 if it's not in use. Okay, so after you guys have decided, put the other end of that HDMI cable into output 1 of the HDMI splitter. Alright guys, so now with the other HDMI cable, plug it into the output 2 of the HDMI splitter. You will pretty much have something that looks like this. Now with the other end of that HDMI cable that you have just plugged in, put it into the in of the HD60 Pro. Alright guys, and that's pretty much how you set up your PS4 to a HDMI splitter, and that is the end of the video for you guys. But for people who also want to set up audio, then, s you know, keep watching. For the people who are out of here, thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. Peace. Alright guys, now moving on to the audio part of the video. Now, I know a lot of you guys have a motherboard with the uh, speakers plugged into it, and we listen to music out loud, and it's great. But when you're streaming, you got to change the wires around and stuff. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up without changing all your wires around. Let's get right into it. Okay, so I found this neat little diagram thing on Google Images and I thought this is going to help us out a shit ton. Let's get right into it. So your speakers are going to be plugged into number 7, right? Because that is your audio and that's just, you know, it's what you do. It's just, you know, it's just your audio. So that's where your speakers go into. But we want to plug our 3.5mm jack. I'll show you how to do it in a minute. But we're going to use a 3.5mm jack and plug it in number 8, which is line in. These might not be the same colours of your motherboard, but you get the idea. Find the line in one and plug a 3.5mm jack into it. Now, I'm going to show you how to set it up completely now. I'm going to head over to my webcam really quickly and I will show you. So, on the side of my monitor, I've got this little 3.5mm jack. Now, this tutorial only works if you've got an audio thing on your monitor. Check the back of it, check the sides. If you don't have one, I'm so sorry, this tutorial will not work for you. But if you do have one, let's get right into it. So you want to plug a 3.5mm jack into the audio out part of the monitor and put it into the line-in slot that I just showed you in that diagram on the back of your motherboard on the PC. Okay, once that is done, and that is, like, it's absolutely perfect, and I'll show you why. So we're going to go down to this little speaker here and go to recording devices and find the line in. So it's not this one because this is my sound card. Let's find my motherboard. Here it is at the bottom. And let's open this bad boy up. Double click it, open it up. Now we go to listen and we tick it and click apply. Now sometimes there's a little buzzing and that, that can get really annoying. Don't have it on 100%. There is a bit of buzzing. Uh, not sure if that's just mine. Uh, might not happen for you guys. You know, you guys might not have that problem. But I have like a little buzzing sound on mine. So I'll put that down to 50% works absolutely flawlessly. Keep in mind when you're not using your PS4, go back to listen, untick it and click apply and it's going to be absolutely perfect. So let's tick it for now. It's on 50%. Click OK. OK. OK, we've got to go back to the webcam really quickly. Now on my monitor, I've got like these little buttons on the side and I click it. Now it's going to be different for everybody who has, you know, everyone's got a different monitor, but I click menu now, you want to find yours where it says HDMI 1, right? You want to switch the input. So, earlier in the video, I put my HDMI cable into HDMI 1. So, that's what I'm going to do. Make sure the PS4 is turned on, by the way. And boom. Now, because what we did in the uh, in the recording devices with the line in and we plugged it, we plugged it in from the side into the back of the PC, I now have sound. And the reason I've got sound is because it's running straight from the monitor. So if we if we move, it's absolutely perfect. The sound is synced up. It's perfect for us. 
We can play games now and have a good time, but it's not set up on stream yet. So, yeah, we'll do that in a moment. Now, when we actually, if we come back out of this and put our monitor back on, the sound stops. Now, that is exactly how it's supposed to be. Don't freak out. That's how it's supposed to be. But the stream will still hear it and see it. Don't worry. It doesn't need to be on for you to have it on stream, right? So, what we're going to do is... Oh, actually, hold on. Before we do anything... Now, for some people, the audio might be a little bit low. But because it's running through your monitor, and because, you know, thanks to that little cable... Let's go to our menu, and we're going to go to audio. You might have to find it on your screen, and go to volume. And then you can turn this up, and you can turn it down. I like it on 80%, because that's what it's nice for me. You know, you know it works good for me. But some of you might want 100%, and that's going to make your game even louder. This does not affect the stream. Keep that in mind. Okay, let's get back to the monitor now. I'm going to switch this shit back over. Ba-boom. There we go. Now the sound's gone off. Like I said, that's how it's supposed to be. Don't worry about it. I'm back on my monitor now. Alright, so to set up the stream, let's put OBS over here so you guys can see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in the sources, click add and go to video capture device. I'm going to name this Elgato. Kaboom. Okay, now we want to choose the device's Elgato Gain Capture HD. Okay, now we want to change the resolution FPS type to custom, and we want to change the resolution to 920 by 1080. Okay, let's turn, let's, you know, shrink this down a little bit so you guys can see. It's in the top left hand corner still, we can still move this, but I need to show you guys what's up. So to control the stream audio or recording audio, audio you know, this works for recording too, it's not just streamers. So we change the Elgato sound here. As you can hear, and that's how the stream are, are, are going to hear the uh, hear the, the the you know the PS4. We can't hear it because we're on our desktop. But this is how you control it in OBS. If you have two screens, which everyone should, if you're going to be a live streamer or a recorder, because it helps so much. So, but if you don't, whatever you know, just tweak, tweak, tweak. So, if you have two screens, it's going to be a lot easier. And then obviously you've got the uh, the game here, which is absolutely awesome. And that is perfect. So, everything is completely set up. That is how you do it. And if you want to play music, because, you know, live streamers play music. And, it, you know, makes everyone more hyped in the, in the chat. And it's basically exactly the same. Desktop audio. Unmute it. Make sure it's unmuted. And play some music from YouTube or whatever. Now, a lot of people are going to be wondering, well, hold on a minute. Why, you, why are you using OBS Studio? Why are you not using the other OBS? It works exactly the same on both OBS's, apart from what I noticed with Elgato is when I'm streaming on OBS Studio or, you know, slash multi-platform, um, I noticed that there was no lag stutter. But on the other OBS, I found that there was more lag stutter, like FPS drops, um, more frequently, and that was just really bad. But I didn't notice any on OBS Studio, and that is exactly why I use OBS Studio for recording now and streaming, because it's just way better. Alright guys, well that is it for the video, um, hopefully it didn't take too long to follow, and if you did get a little bit stuck, just replay it, watch it again, and follow it step by step, you know, you can keep pausing, unpausing, keep pausing and unpausing until you get this shit on lockdown, and that is exactly how you're going to do it. Please keep in mind, to hear the audio, you need to switch your monitor over to your PS4, so keep that in mind, and have a good day guys, peace.